And taking a look at your forecast now, it should be a dry start to your work week, and we could even see the 80s this week. Yeah, even as soon as tomorrow. It's Great. been up and down, <laughs> cool today in the 60s, and then we bounce back up tomorrow. Outside right now, it's comfortable, 68 in Pittsburgh. Mid-60s as you head a little bit further to the north, Newcastle, Butler, Beaver, all at 64 and 65 degrees. Zelenopol, you're one of our cooler spots at 63, but nobody's going to cool off all that much tonight. Even over into Oakland in western Maryland, Somerset, upper 50s, lower 60s, with lows tomorrow morning just in the mid to upper 50s. So hour by hour, we're going to look for those clouds to stick around. Even some patchy fog forming by the middle of the night, but when you wake up, Overcast skies still with that patchy fog, and then we get some gradual clearing. So as we head through the morning commute tomorrow, watch uh, maybe a little extra time. Watch for those pockets of dense fog should start to mix out by mid to late morning, and then the clouds will begin to finally move out of here by around lunchtime. You see on our radar satellite loop here, the clouds still sticking around western Pennsylvania. No more moisture, though. Showers have pushed off into central and eastern Pennsylvania, and we have a dry couple of days ahead for the most part. Here's Futurecast taking us through the overnight hours. Still cloudy, pockets of that dense fog possible in the early morning. By 7 a.m., still cloudy skies, but by 9, 10 a.m., there go the clouds. And by lunchtime, we should see at least partly sunny, if not partly cloudy skies. Afternoon temperatures getting up into the upper 70s to lower 80s. A nice afternoon tomorrow. Then as we head toward Tuesday morning, we start out with clear skies again. Lows near 60. Highs Tuesday very warm. We'll head toward the mid to in some spots south of Pittsburgh, the upper 80s. Warmest day of the week on Tuesday. So with that daytime heating, Futurecast is trying to pop up one or two showers or a thunderstorm, mainly in the Laurel Highlands and the ridges just with the daytime heating. I think most of us will stay dry all the way through tomorrow and Tuesday. Now Wednesday is a different story. Warm front and then a trailing cold front. Another system pushing through here. First here comes the warmer moist air. By Wednesday morning, you will start to see showers and by the morning commute showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder. Then by lunchtime we dry out, but with the daytime heating, here comes that cold front plowing into that. There's a chance we could have a couple of thunderstorms possible Wednesday evening. We're watching the setup right now. It doesn't look like there's much of a chance of anything severe that could easily change as we head through the model runs tomorrow. So keep it here. We'll keep you updated if we are going to issue a first alert weather day. But Wednesday will be our next best chance for showers and storms until then fog tomorrow morning and then sunshine by tomorrow afternoon high of 81 Tuesday warm 86 Wednesday. There's that chance for showers, some afternoon thunderstorms, few scattered storms again Thursday and look at Friday, Saturday, Sunday back to the 70s.